Today we'll be proving that this language, EQTM, which is the set of all pairs of Turing machines, M1 and M2, where they have the exact same language. So the problem of the EQ here is we want to figure out whether these two Turing machines do the same thing. So if I want to have two programs and I want to figure out whether they do the same thing, that's equivalent to the EQTM problem. And today we'll be showing that it is undecidable. So the common way of proving that things are undecidable are to, to assume that they are decidable and then to decide a known undecidable problem or to use Rice's theorem. But we can't use Rice's theorem here because there are two Turing machines here instead of one. So we need to assume that this thing is in fact decidable. So suppose that E decides EQTM. Okay, so E is a Turing machine I'm supposing exists that will, if you feed it to Turing machines, figures out whether they have the same language. And the list of known undecidable problems uh, up to this point are the ATM problem and the ETM problem. The first one being a Turing machine and an input, figuring out whether it accepts the input, or ETM, whether the language is empty. So you could use either one of these. It turns out either one works, but uh, the ETM one is way easier. So to, here we're going to decide uh, ETM, the emptiness problem. So assuming that the, the equivalence problem is solvable, can I solve the emptiness problem? Well, remember that the emptiness problem, you're given exactly one Turing machine, whereas the decider supposedly for EQ requires two. So here's how this is gonna work. So on input M where M is a Turing machine. So we're, we're trying to decide the emptiness problem now, assuming that the equivalence problem is decidable. And uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, feed in two Turing machines to this decider E. Well, I can't just feed M twice because the language of the machine's equivalent is equal to the language of itself. <laughs> so if I feed M M to it, it that's not gonna really help us. So what we're going to do is, and this is pretty standard, is to make a Turing machine, which I'm gonna call M sub empty with empty language. And that's really easy to do. You can just have a Turing machine that always goes to the reject state or even has the start state being the reject state. That's, that's one thing you can do. So what we're gonna do now is as the second step is to run that supposed equivalence decider upstairs on input i'm going to feed the original turing machine that i'm given to me uh, up here uh, along with the machine that we just made so this machine which has definitely has empty language and this one which i'm trying to figure out about well if m has empty language then E is going to say yes, they have the same language. If M does not have the empty language, well, these two are not going to be the same, and E is going to report that they're not the same. So then what we can say is, if E accepts, and we know that it must accept or reject because it's supposedly a decider, so if it says uh, it, they really are the same, then that means that M's language is empty, and I'm trying to decide the emptiness problem, so I need to say accept here. And for the exact, or I guess similar reason, if E rejects, then that means that these two have different language, which means that M must not have empty language, which for our purposes, uh, we need to say reject here because we're trying to decide the emptiness problem. So here we need to say reject. And Clearly, this thing runs in a finite amount of time, assuming step two can run in a finite amount of time. And then therefore we have decided the emptiness problem, assuming that the equivalence problem is solvable. But unfortunately, the emptiness problem is unsolvable. So since ETM 
is undecidable, so is EQTM. Cool. So that's a quick proof that EQTM is undecidable. Leave your thoughts and uh, questions about this down in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.